Okay, I'm gonna show you how to add auth to your app or your website really quickly using Replit. So you can see this is the one we use currently for our dashboard for our clients. Um, and so, you know, you just click the sign in with Replit button and then you can sign in normally with Google and you can add more options here as well. These are just the ones uh, that I like using for our clients. I feel like you don't, these are the ones that are the most popular. So I'm gonna show you how to do this just from start, like literally from scratch. Um, so here's a, a brand new project in Replit. Let's create um, an app to track gym workout. Let's add a leaderboard for users. Um, them to work out more. <laughs> okay, so super simple. We can use that little button in the bottom or the icon in the bottom of the text field to improve the prompt. Uh, and then we'll just hit start and then it's going to kind of work its magic um, again you don't have to start with anything super crazy uh, you can ideally actually it's it sets up a little bit smoother and faster if you start with an app where like you tell it that you want to add sign in with google or you want to add replit auth authentication to your uh, application or to your software um, or your website but i'm going to show you here just for the example case of like the harder way to do it, which is basically um, going through and, and having like, say you already have an app that's already set up or that you you miss this step, that this covers that uh, too. But basically, I just wanna you know show you the hardest kind of version, hardest way to do it. But you know you can make it probably save a couple of minutes by uh, entering in the first prompt, hey, I wanna add sign in with Google for the users that are gonna be ranked in the leaderboard. Uh, so we'll speed this up and then come back once this is done. Okay, so I did a pretty solid job. I mean, our fitness or fit tracker pro up here. I mean, it looks kind of like Strawber vibes. I feel like with the design, so not bad, pretty cool. Um, and let's say add auth, so users can sign in with Google. So this is literally our second prompt of the project. So we got our initial output and it looked like it's not quite working. I mean, it's stuck on like a little bit of a loading loop. Um, it had to do a lot of work. I mean, we could kind of see in the history of what it had done up here that it had to go through and basically remove um, the existing uh, like user database kind of storage setup and then had to take that out and then put it in a totally new one and build a totally new one. Um, and so then it kind of prompted us to add a database, uh, which I just clicked the button, add a database, uh, which it's doing now. So we'll see uh, where this gets us, uh, but hopefully we're only a few prompts away from getting this to working uh, 100%. Okay, so it says that it successfully created a database, but it, it still looks like the app obviously isn't quite working. It's stuck in this endless looping on the loading here. So I'm gonna look into tools and see what it says under auth here. Um, we'll go to configure and we can see that, yeah, it just says add replit auth. Um, and these are some of the places where you can, again, you can control the login providers and everything. And you can see all your user data, which is really cool once it's properly configured, but it's not quite working. Um, so let's, what we can do is, uh, we'll take a screenshot of this and send it to the replit agent V2 and say, um, our auth page uh, appears to be in an endless looping animation. Please deeply audit the code base to find the root cause of the issue and seamlessly get auth fully set up. So I said, our auth page appears to be in an endless looping animation. Please deeply audit the code base to find the root cause of the issue and seamlessly get auth fully set up. So just, I mean, totally word vomiting of a prompt. It's not super nice, but uh, it's pretty good at um, understanding. And uh, you can see even like often the product will just prompt you to say really small things. Like you don't have to add really, really detailed prompts. Um, I think that they're really trying to design the product in a way where um, anyone can do it, in, in, even if you aren't able to describe, you know, it in that same 
at that same level like in here in uh the auth section they just want you to just literally just say this so like you know it's able to work without super fancy prompt engineering Okay, it looks like it's prompting me to deploy uh, the app now to keep it running. It's interesting because that's this is saying something different than that, but sooner or later we would have had to do this anyways uh, for the example. Um, so all this is fine. Uh, it's just like a you know sample app for us. This will take a couple seconds to deploy. Okay, so it just finished uh, deploying. So now it's going to say that here. We can test it in a new tab and see how we're coming. I feel like it's not fully solved yet, but. OK, um, it says it should load now with working authentication. You just can access the dashboard profile and other pages seamlessly. How does the app appear now? OK, so this is I mean, this is literally the most I picked like the hardest, like the most complex example, right? Because it, it keeps on saying in the logs that they're errors that are caused by like some of these other components like the leaderboard component and things like that um let's say assign out button to the so let's add a uh sign out option so that we can test because it's like right now there's no way for me to sign out even if i go to the profile page okay looks like there's a button still finishing up the work and then we'll test it ah okay so that's not working signing out isn't working it should bring the user to the auth page okay it just tried again so it says the sign up button should work now properly to log out users so Oh no, we're getting the endless loading animation again. Dang, so it finished again. I still see this endless, like, looping, though. Okay, <laughs> I think we finally did it, guys. So this is, uh, as we see this new page here, let's see if we hit this button, what happens? Signing with Google. Oh no, nothing happens. Well, I see this from uh, one password. Let's actually try opening this in a new tab and see what we get now. Huh. So it doesn't really work correctly when I just hit the sign in with Google button. So Okay, so I gave up and I just did a new prompt. This is literally just totally straight. I literally just said make a simple task app with Replit auth. So I added it to the initial prompt and then um, used the prompt enhancement icon again to make it into this full prompt. So it did that, worked in it for a few minutes. It asked if the database was good and I said yes. Um, then it built this page. So let's see <laughs> if it did it. Oh, it did. Okay. So this is what we were looking for. Um, and when we see log in, you can say allow, it might use my, yeah, and then it used my account see at this end, so awesome, man. This is like, so this time it totally worked, and um, sorry, let's go into the replets, the auth settings here. So this is how you can more deeply manage auth, and you can see um, my email there, and then um, you can configure the auth, so it's cool. Uh, and so basically, you know, this is, I can confirm, you know, like that this, this app that we built here, um, this was an, an, like one that was working, uh, for a while, um, or it was going for a while, let's see, before, um, we had built in a sign in feature functionality without auth and then re added auth later and got it working. So it is possible, but it's, it's not like, it's a little bit more painful, um, or it just is a little bit more uh, working with uh, Replit agent to figure it out. 
um, versus if you just know like right off the bat and you start it and you tell it to use that from the get-go, I think that it's much better to build uh, from that way if you can. So uh, you saw us fail at the start of the video, but I promise that you can, if you've already been like building a project out, it's possible to add Replit Auth to it. Um, it's just going to be not a, not a one prompt thing. You know, this is literally pretty, basically a one prompt thing. I literally just confirmed the database. So it was like a one prompt thing. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. So basically that's, that's how you do it guys. That's how you can build a, a website or an app where users can sign in, uh, with Apple or Google or GitHub or X or their email. Um, and this just, uh, make sign in super, super seamless uh, and is a really great user experience enhancement uh, to your product. So I hope this helped out. Uh, I think it was kind of like a, a good, uh, like, a, you know, realistic video of like what it's like sometimes working with these things. These tools are definitely not perfect. So they're hallucinating a little bit. They're not perfect, but I think that it's, you can totally see that it's going to be at that point soon where you could have a really complex app or like fully built out product with real customers on it, you know, transacting on the platform and everything like that. And you want to add some kind of major change like this, like changing the sign in flow to an authentication, like, um, you know, Google auth, like kind of like flow like that, that you would be able to do that in one fell swoop with just using a one prompt. You know, I think that we're going to be there soon. It's not quite there yet. Um, but it's still pretty magical, so pretty cool.